It's a beautiful day here. 75 degrees, but humid. Can't get away from that humidity here in New England. Some people are already weighing out in the sand, getting their tan. The water's still kind of cool to go in, but some people are brave enough. I know you can't see it way out in the distance there. There's a whole line of sails spanning the part of the horizon you can see. They're having a sailboat regatta that goes from Round Hill to South Dartmouth over there out to the Elizabeth Islands and back. What a boat race this year. Uh, none of it is motorized. They're all sail. And it's fun. I've never gone sailing. I've never gone sailing. Summer's here in good old New England, man. Here's all my buddies, the seagulls. This water's crystal clear. At one time it wasn't. Back in the 70s, uh, they had a little problem with a lot of the factories on the back side of me. Over across the other side, uh, it's only about 120 yards. At its narrowest point, this peninsula was only about 80 yards. Uh, on the back side of all the old factories from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, they were pumping out PCBs and you name it. They polluted the fuck out of this water. It was shut down from any type of fishing. Regular fishing, shellfish. Really wasn't safe to eat anything that came out of this water. And then the EPA came in in the 70s with a super fund. And it took a lot of years, a lot of dredging, and uh, anyway, it eventually got cleaned up and it's safe and it's monitored. The only time we have a problem is during the extreme heat, when heat waves, when it's, you know, in the 90s and the ocean temperature rises much higher than normal. The bacteria level rises with it, and that's when all that seaweed that's green turns red. It's called a red tide. You'll actually see dead fish floating up on the shore here. And then everything is closed off, can't even go swimming in it. You know, if you have any cuts or abrasions on your skin, just the water coming into contact with it, you can get a bad infection. So, hey, take the good with the bad. But anyway, hope your day's going good. I got a few things done this morning and a few more things to do this afternoon before Auntie Billy gets in. And then we're gonna go out and eat and then we get ready for the weekend beginning tomorrow. So have fun and stay safe.